Listing Diario Editorial for October 29th of 2022. Let's protect Dominicans first. More than our liberal Haitians, it is Dominicans who must first be protected by our government from the various threats that hang over their lives, health, and safety. Dominicans are the ones who are most exposed to the burst of violence that bloody Haiti and to all the consequences of the state of chaos and hunger that devastates that country. Dominicans are the ones who can be harmed the most if due to an inability to restore order and peace in Haiti, their desperate victims flee here in search of refuge by passing immigration laws. It is the Dominicans who live today in fear of the frequent assaults, rapes or murders that unscrupulous Haitians are committing in any part of the country. It is the Dominicans who in many neighborhoods and towns have most social question because they necessarily have to share spaces with illegals without verifiable identity. The ones the government must protect are the Dominicans, those who have fallen into the secondary category when it comes to legitimately receiving medical care in public hospitals because their maternity hospitals and internment wards are occupied by Haitians who do not pay a penny for those services. Also, the Dominicans who were born and live on the borderline, who often suffer more rustling, motorcycle theft, or damage to their crops by Haitian intruders who act in the shadows of the night. Who this government must protect is a citizen distressed by the high cost of electricity, the scarcity of basic products, or the insecurity derived from criminal acts. By the way, many criminal acts such as kidnapping, disappearances, dismemberment, rape, force the authority to define if they have an umbilical cord with those same episodes that chaotic Haiti is suffering today, characteristic of the modus operandi of its armed gangs. For Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.